The Waiting Room, The Waiting Room, Part 1. Why wait? Why wait? Don't know about you this morning, but uh, waiting is not my, um, it's just not what I enjoy doing. I don't know about you, but uh, I struggle with waiting. And this morning, I want to talk about, want to press in on, want to help us understand why wait? Why wait? I don't know. Uh, maybe it's something that you just uh, really have already uh, to go that uh, you don't have a problem with um, sitting, waiting in the emergency room, sitting, waiting on traffic, sitting, waiting for the restaurant. You ever been to your favorite restaurant, your favorite restaurant, and uh, man, you can't wait to get there and wait to get your table and they tell you it's going to be 30 minutes, uh, B uh, Bishop Dudley. It's going to be 45 minutes. It's going to be, and you turn to uh, those that you're going out to dinner with and you ask your, ask them, you know, do you all want to wait? <laughs> do you want to wait? Or do you want to go somewhere else? Uh, that's just such a difficult thing uh, for us to do. Well, this morning, I want to talk about why wait. Good morning, everybody. How are you on this morning? Angela, how are you this morning? Valerie, how are you on this morning? Nikki, how are you? I want you to answer this question. Answer this question as we greet a few people. Do you like waiting? Do you like waiting? Put it in the chat area. If you, you're good on it. You don't mind it. Not a problem at all. You can kick back, chill all you want to. Uh, you don't have any issues with it. Put that in the chat area. Or if you struggle, if you struggle, even with the microwave, then put that in the chat area. Good morning, Joe. How are you? Thanks for staying connected uh, out of uh, San Antonio, Texas. Uh, good morning, Tony. How are you on this morning? Good morning, Scotty. How are you on this morning? Look, this morning, the waiting room, why wait? We wait in traffic. We wait at our favorite restaurant. We wait in the emergency room. <laughs> we do a whole lot of waiting. I waited to hear my daughter come into the world uh, when I was stationed at Osan Air Base. Heard her over the phone come into the world. I had to wait. Why wait? There's three reasons why we wait. I'm going to give you these today. I'll give you part two tomorrow. The first reason that we wait is lack of confidence. Lack of confidence. We don't have the confidence that Hebrews 10.35 tells us that we should have. We should have confidence. John tells us this is the confidence that we have, that when we pray, he hears us. What happened between the time when we were a child and the time of our adulthood? in our level of confidence. When we were a child, I don't know about you, but I put something around my neck, a towel or something, and I went through the house running around because I thought I was somebody's superhero. There was nothing that I did not think I could do. I had all kinds of confidence. But now we wait instead of acting is because we lack confidence. Flipping the script, Let's go to second thing. The second thing that we wait and why we wait is we don't have clarity. We don't have clarity about what direction we're going. Have you ever thought about the fact that before, before GPS, before GPS, if you didn't have a map, you were just out there. You were just simply out there. I remember so well going from one duty station to the next and, uh, I would have the map out and I would give it to first lady sitting in the passenger seat and I would tell her, you know, okay, have we come up to this point yet? Have we done this point? Where is the highway that we need to be on? Are we on the right highway? Now, first lady was always not challenge in direction, but challenge in reading a map. In Proverbs 29, 18, it says, if you don't have a vision, then you're going to crash. You're going to crash. If you don't know the direction you're going, typically we wait we wait when we don't have confidence. We wait when we don't have clarity. And we wait when we have not collaborated on the direction that we're going. That's why we wait. You know what? Ecclesiastes 4, 9 says this, that two are better than one. Two are better than one. 
In other words, you need a group of people. You need a team. You need a mentor. You need some wisdom. You need some counsel in terms of collaborating on moving forward. So many of us are waiting. Many of us are waiting. And I'm not talking about the emergency room. I'm not talking about in traffic. I'm not talking about waiting at your favorite restaurant. I'm not talking about any of those things. I'm talking about why are you waiting to carry out what God has on your life? Could it be <laughs> that there is lack of inaction because you don't have the confidence, you don't have the clarity, and you don't have the collaboration? I'm going to give you part two tomorrow on what do we do when we get to that point and we're ready to move forward and we're tired of waiting. If this bless you, bless somebody else. Share this, man, and don't keep it to yourself. God bless you. Bye now.